Hello pretties, welcome to Web Surreal. So today we have my project pen update, the one that is not so exciting. <laughs> um, on a different note, I am officially tanned. It is officially summer here in Texas. In my opinion, we're in 80 degree weather pretty consistently. We'll get random like 60 days, but like it's summer officially. And to show, I am tanned. Um, that being said, let's get started. So I mentioned before that I would not wear this when it's hot. So this foundation is officially getting rolled out of this, although technically wasn't really rolled out last month. I did not use it last month at all. Um, I'm going to have to really mess with this one, like coming like in this next winter, <laughs> because if I don't like it this next winter, I think it's time to like find another use for it, maybe as a setting powder or uh, see if I can use it under eye in the under eye area, but it's just... I, I didn't enjoy it this time and I remember the, the winter before this one I really enjoyed it I had a really good time with it but yeah it's not it so I'm just gonna put it back in my drawer and uh, we'll see you in a few months so goodbye all right uh, my other foundation that I did have on and I'm glad I put on is this one right here uh, so this is where I put it down I actually think I may be just below this mark that I made to this time Regardless, I'm not mad at my progress. It was a little bit less than last time if I'm correct at this marking. It's really hard to tell because it is like a little stained right here at the top. And so it's just, it's hard to tell even when you put it in the light. It's hard to tell. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is where I'm at. I think. Regardless, I do think this is going to be gone by the summer. It does match me a lot better now than it did before last month because I was still somewhat paler, um, but I am, like I said, tanned. And I'm probably gonna stay tanned for a little while longer. I do enjoy this foundation, I don't dislike it. It's just, it's a little dark for me, one. And two, it's a little heavier than everything else that I own and I prefer lighter stuff. Even though this is a very much so considered lightweight foundation, it's not my preferred method. So, there's that. Um, let's talk about my primer because that was an interesting situation. So I said I was going to finish this <laughs> uh, within two weeks. And honestly, I probably would have. But then what happened was that for a while there, the little little um, dispenser here, it wouldn't take anything out. But then I figured if I just like turn it inside out and like I, I opened it like this and then I can just like put it on my face, that works. But I didn't figure that out until like a week and a half ago. So for the first like three weeks, I wasn't really using this. Um, but now I am. So there's that. There's not the, there's not a lot of product there. There's like two three days left. Um, I did had ever had anticipated that I was gonna finish that, <laughs> so I rolled in a, another primer, which was this one, and I did use this a handful of times. So I think when I started it, it was like around here, and now it's down here. So it was brand new. It's progress. I think this will be gone in about three months. I think this was gonna take me a little longer on the other one, mostly because of the formula. I think I need to put less on than that one. <laughs> Uh, because that one's a moisturizing one while well, this is a more like a gripping. This is an interesting formula. I don't particularly love it. Um, I don't particularly have an issue with my makeup staying on prior, so I don't think I need this. So this was not, this is not in making me inclined to buy this from e.l.f. Um, so, you know, miss opportunity from e.l.f., but whatever. <laughs> um, we're still using that. No complaints there. Let's go through the ones that you and I both know there's gonna be like no progress <laughs> and that's going or no progress visible progress and that's my color corrector actually I think you can see there's actually little lines here and there um, of like use so I think it's getting there I, I think I am still in on track to finish this in May so I have about a month and a half maybe two months I think it, this will be gone by then so that will be pretty exciting to get this color corrector out because I really want to finish my one from Sigma just a little sneak peek tease this is what the one from Sigma looks like. And there's not a lot of product in here. It's gonna go pretty quickly. And I prefer this formula so much more than I prefer this one from Ulta. So I'm super excited to work on this. I think this is gonna last me literally like a month at most too. <laughs> there's not a lot of product in here and I use a lot of color corrector because look at this bad boys. They are heavy, heavy. So years of insomnia, here we are. <laughs> That's what that looks like. So I'm, I really, really wanna work on that. Um, Okay, the other one that, again, I don't think you're going to be able to see much progress, and it's because it's a sick kind of tube, is my concealer. This one's going to be here, I think, till the end of summer. Um, and I'm 
honestly, I kind of wish I was a little tanner because even now that I am a little bit tanned, this is still too dark. <laughs> this is still too dark for me. What was I thinking in the past, thinking that this was my shade? I don't know. This is still way too dark, way too yellow. I am having to still use this other color, uh, sorry, concealer to neutralize it because this one's an actual neutral concealer. It's also a little lighter, so it like tones it down. And I expanded that dip even more so. I don't know how deep this jar is, but I feel like at this rate, I may hit pan on this concealer before I even hit, you know, finish this. I don't know, because I've been using, every time I use them, I use them together. I don't love this combo, if I'm being honest. And if I ever have anywhere that I need to go, and if I want to look nice, this is not what I'm using. I'm using my ones from Natasha Denona. So, I'm not using them every single time I do my makeup, but I am using them most of the times that I do my makeup. So, there's that. Alright, let's see. What else we got? Um, another one where I don't think you're going to be able to see much progress. I have my little, I did use it, but I didn't have to like sharpen it. So that's on me. Um, so I'm, I still have the same marking that I did last time. So no update there. I did officially declutter that lip liner that I had before the one from NYX. I gave it to my friend. She says she likes it. She's, uh, she's, uh, she's a pasty queen. So she got no problem with it. I, however, cannot. It's just too, way too light for me. Um, let's see. What else we got? Another lip liner um, that I did roll in last time. It's from Colourpop. And this one, I did have a little bit of progress. Not a lot of progress, but a little bit of progress. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. Honestly, I actually am enjoying wearing this lip liner, which I can honestly say I was not enjoying wearing the other one. So I am not mad about this progress. I think if I just get be a little bit more vigilant to think, I, I think I only wear like three times and I made all that, you know, that progress from just from one sharpening. I think if I just become a little bit more vigilant about it, <laughs> try to use it a little bit more often, I should be fine. Um, actually, I want something that I keep wanting to try is this color with the ghost stitch shade. I, I keep wanting to try it, but I haven't actually done it. Um, and then here you'll see my progress with ghost it. It didn't really much move much. I again, I only I'm only really oh gosh, I'm only really wearing it like once a week, and because I am using that. Oh, I, I am using other products with it. It's not like the main star, so it, it's pretty much the same. It hasn't really moved much. Um, just a slight line right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, like one to two. So very, very little, very little that uh, change, but honestly, I'm just glad there's movement at all. <laughs> on a different note, my other uh, bullet lipstick from ColourPop on, on display, which is this red one. So I use Ghost there about once a week and I'm using on display twice a week. That's what I'm trying to do. And I think I can actually see pretty, I, I can actually like start seeing movement. Um, you can see it's right there. There you go. Oh, anyway, I don't know if that's better, but you can see the lines from, from one to two right here. So it did, it did move. It did move. And I'm pretty happy about it. I think this is another one that I, I think it's going to be gone. It's, it's going to be gone by the end of summer. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I think Ghost is going to probably be here most of the year. And I think once I start seeing way more progress on Ghosted, like, oh, sorry, I had to scratch. <laughs> once I start seeing way more progress on Ghosted and once this one's gone, maybe I can try to focus on that one to wear it about twice a week or so. Um, but for now, this is the one that I'm being mostly using and it's going, I like red and red a lot. I have a lot of red adjacent the products and yeah, I have a lot of red adjacent lip products. That's the best way I can say it. <laughs> so there's that. Now talking about lip products, I talked about this when I did my, um, shop mustache, my previous shop mustache. I was not very smart with how I went about my lip products. I mostly just had those two lip lipsticks and then I've been doing a pretty good job of just rotating through everything else that's in my collection. So rotation wise, I'm not having any issues, but there's a lot of products that are very little that go quickly and or me knowing how I can use them, I know I could use them in conjunction with these two lipsticks and or even if I wear them on their own, I could go through them quickly because I know I can pan a lip product like no one's business. But I was just wasn't being smart with how I was planning this. And what I mean by that is, I know if I were to focus on this lip gloss, I could finish this lip gloss in a month. 
period. I know that because I finished bigger lip glosses than this in a month. <laughs> so I know I can do it. Um, and I know I can finish like this products because there's very little product in here. I can finish this quickly. And in fact, because these are so sheer, I wouldn't actually wear them on their own. I would actually have to wear something else like this underneath. The blotted lips are honestly, I really love this formula to top over with a gloss. This is the perfect form formula to put underneath to have like a really nice sheen of color and they play so well with almost every single formula you can think of that's a glossy formula, whether it's in a stick formula or in an actual gloss, these just play so good together. So I know if I were to focus on, not necessarily trying to pan these ones, but try to finish all these little ones, if I were to try to finish one little one of these a month and in conjunction with this, by the end of the year, I will probably have both of these done and all of these little ones completed. And I was just thinking about it like, I'm just not being smart. I'm not being smart. I should be focusing on all these little products because I don't particularly love them. <laughs> Let's just put it out that way. And if it's an easy pan, I should be doing that because these, I do not love these. Um, I got them uh, uh, from a set this Christmas. I don't love these. Um, I got this ones from a set. I don't love these. <laughs> I got this ones from a set. Actually, I have more. I got this ones from a set. I do not love these. Um, and it's, I, I don't dislike the formula except for this one. I actually like the formula on both of these. And this just this shades just don't work for me. But I actually do uh, I, I do not like this formula. But these ones are fine. I just don't like these colors. Um, so all of that being said, I need to rotate not just through my products, but to focus on some of those products and try to get them out because I know this will be easy finishes for me. That being said, I decided to unofficially start to try to pan this. This is all I have left. This is literally like a day's use maybe a day and a half. This goes quickly for me. I actually only wore it, I think like seven times the entire month, but it's almost completely gone. So I'm rolling it out in, however you want to think it in. I'm saying in and out because I'm actually rolling in a replacement for this because I know I'm going to finish this within a couple of days. So I want to put the one, um, sorry, this is the Tarte Maracuja li Juicy Lip Plump. I did not like this formula. In White Peach, it's way too light for me. Um, so I'm trying to finish it again this week. This is going to be gone this week. Like it, There's not a lot of product in here. And I'm going to roll in this one. It's from the same set, which is a Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I actually really enjoy this formula. And another reason why I decided to do this is because I noticed this. Because these ones, you like click them up. The clicker is already visible right here, which means I have about this much product. If I were to roll this one in, in like, and especially because I love this product in, in this shade, I, I can't remember what the shade is and the little sticker came off. Um, I could finish this literally in a week. If I, if I allow myself to use this for a week straight, I could finish this in a week. I love it. It's one of those red adjacent products. It's super juicy, super plumping. Uh, not probably, it's a, um, but it like feels very comfortable. Uh, it does make your lips look a little plumper, even though it doesn't have any plumping effect. I do want to clarify that. It does not have any plumping effect whatsoever, but it does make it look plump. And it's just so nice, and I love this product. But again, if I allow myself to use this for a week straight, I could finish it. If I allow myself to use it twice a week, and for, you know, twice a week for a month, I could finish this. And, and that's the whole process. It's like I have a lot of easy easy wins that I'm not taking and I should I should absolutely be taking advantage of that so I'm rolling this one in um, <laughs> it's not that one there's this much product in here and I actually think I could see this is what, the, the, why I don't like these these are so flimsy like do you see that these are not very well attached so I'm gonna roll that back down <laughs> um, this one and I think ghosted would probably play really well together uh, and I'm thinking on some days instead of using this as my base for this product to use that one. And I have to use a base for this product because it's a little too light for my lip color. And so it does have a bit of like a concealer effect, but not really. It's just the shade is lighter and it's not in a clear way, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it. So it just doesn't look very flattering on me on its own. I have to use a base for it. And so I will probably use this one or ghost it and I can probably, um, this will probably tone down ghost it. So it's a little more wearable. Um, that being said, those are the two products that I'm rolling in, in and out. But I'll show you both of them at the next update if I finish both, which I should. Because now that I have a clear plan, because my plan, I came up with this plan like 
a week or two after I filmed my last product, um, project pen update. So I didn't actually like execute it until then. So I, I missed a couple opportunities to get this one completed. Um, but I'll actually have both of them out for the next update and I'll definitely be showing you guys that. Um, and if I finish any of these other adjacent products, I will let you know. But essentially what I'm trying to do is every month you should be seeing a new one of these getting rolled in. Um, because again, I have a lot of them. Like I really do. It could be this one. I don't know what happened to the Chil 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 Chilbury gloss. It was here and now it's gone. I'll find it. But you should be seeing one of these being rolled in every single month. Another one that's like here but not really is this um, highlighter. I did use it, not as much as I did the month before, but I used it. Um, and I think you can kind of see it's a little more thin on here. I really want to try to thin everything out to be similar as this. Um, and I think that would make me very happy. I do think I'm going to finish this by the end of the year. It's just not my preferred method of highlighting. I don't like this kind of pattern of highlighters anymore. Um, but it's going... I know it's technically not in the project pan, but I keep bringing it up in the project pan, so it's kind of in the project pan. But anyway, there's that. Um, another one where I could have shown you an exciting update, but I chose purposely not to, <laughs> is my blush. Um, and what I mean by that is I can see the rings right here. I don't think you guys can see that, but I can see there's a really big dip on this specific area, and I can see the, um, the rings of the pan. I could have hit a pan if I would have stayed focused on that, but I didn't. I purposely decided to move, focus my brush into this other area where it's not, where it's significantly more rising, so that I can try to evenly just make, finish out the product. This is one of those products that is here till completion. It's gonna be here for most of the year, so I'm not in a rush to hit pan. Even though it would have been more exciting for you guys to see and witness pan, it's just like. I want this to look as pretty as possible <laughs> for as long as it can because I really like this blush. So I'm not mad about that. Um, okay, moving on to, I think this is the last two products. Be right back. Okay. In retrospect, we probably should have ended on a different note because this is a little bit interesting one, but here we are. Um, I actually, <gasps> no. Okay, the whole thing came off on its own. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please don't break, please don't break. Okay, it went back in. I'm, I'm not gonna race it like I did before. Um, it still feels fine and creamy and the whole thing was there so it didn't break. I actually used it <laughs> and that's all I wanna say and I'm just gonna close it. I actually used it, I think last month I didn't even touch it because I had forgotten it was in the project pan. This time I, I, I did use it, um, but that really scared me. I don't know what just happened. Um, on a different note, the ones that I'm surprised haven't, this one also fell, but it's not because the pan fell, it's because the whole thing came off. That the the magnet is no longer attached to the little thing. But honestly, this thing costs like a dollar, so I'm not expecting it to be done very well. I do have massive dip. I have been using it. It's still going strong. The one that I'm honestly just shocked I haven't hit pan on it is this one because I use this one all the goddamn time. And it has a massive, massive dip on it. But I have not hit pan on that. I don't know what the hell's in that dude, you know. Because it feels like Mary Poppins bag. It keeps going and going and going. I don't understand. And it's not even like I'm using a little bit of product. I grab my big ass brush. This one. I swirl it in there. Put it all over my eyelid. Grab another big one and put it all over the other one. But it's still going strong. I don't know. Anyway. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. I am hope. Actually, no. I lied. There's two more products. I didn't use it again. <laughs> this little packet, like foil packets, are the worst for me to use because I can't reapply them. I know that. And I just, I haven't used them still. So I don't know. I, I, I will make myself use them this month. I just have to. And the last thing is actually my bronzer. So I did end up decluttering my life. It's a draft palette to my friend. Again, because she's more, way more light skin than me, and those colors just suited her a lot better than this suited me. Uh, she did let me keep the blush here. Um, 
I actually enjoy the blush quite a bit and it fits me really well. Um, but now that I have the blush right here and I have the bronzer right next to it, I can actually see how much use I've actually gotten out of this bronze bronzer. Um, I, I'm, I've been able to see the rings of that bronzer for literally like seven months and I have not seen that pan. So I've been using it. That's all I can say. I've been using it at least twice a month, twice a week, the last month, if not more times. But it, it's it's just a slow progress. That's okay. We're going there. We're gonna finish it. Now that it's officially happening. <laughs> There's a lot of products in this project pan. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.